Well, in 2013, I had the opportunity to sail to seven ports of call on the Virginia portion of the Chesapeake Bay. You know, and I think Virginia is where the saying Southern hospitality originated. I met a lot of wonderful people on this cruise. Well, here's a review of my voyages. I started out early in 2013 and sailed from the Sailing Emporium in Rock Hall, Maryland, to Cape Charles, and Portsmouth, Deltaville, and then Urbana. Then in the fall, I cruised to Colonial Beach on the Potomac, and although not necessarily a city, a great destination was Regent Point Marina on the Rappahannock, and then downtown Hampton. Historic Cape Charles is on Virginia's eastern shore. The Cape Charles Town Harbor is easy to navigate and features deep water and modern floating piers. There's a restaurant on site and they have a protected fuel pier. And although the town harbor is within walking distance to the town center, the fun way to get around is by golf cart. And these are available for rent through Eastern Shore Custom Carts right at the marina office. Well, one of my favorite hangouts was Kelly's, a classic Irish pub. And another highlight of the cruise was visiting the stage door art gallery in the historic Palace Theater. This is a unique venue and worth the cruise in itself. Plus, the Cape Charles has the region's largest free sandy beach. It's also home to a train barge operation. It was amazing to see this barge come in with 12 freight cars on it and watch the train yard unload the cars. Well, Portsmouth has two fantastic marinas, Ocean Marine Yacht Center on the south side and Tidewater Yacht Marina on the north. The Portsmouth Entertainment and Shopping District is an easy walking distance of both marinas. Portsmouth has a lot to offer cruisers and one of the things I liked and I spent a lot of time browsing was Skipjack Nautical Wares and Marine Gallery. This place has an amazing selection of nautical art, historic items, antiques, and gifts. Portsmouth is also home to the Children's Museum and the U.S. Coast Guard Atlantic Command Headquarters. As for restaurants and shops, your options are numerous. The one I liked the most though was the historic Commodore Theater, which is a dinner and a movie venue. You can have a great meal, drinks, and watch an award-winning current movie on a 41-foot screen. And when you're in town, and if you need a little help with updating the interior of your yacht, check with my Mason Interiors on Main Street. In Deltaville, I stayed at the Deltaville Boatyard and Marina on Jackson Creek. This is in a resort type setting. And Deltaville is sort of spread out, so many of the marinas offer bicycles and many, like Deltaville Boatyard, have a courtesy car for reprovisioning. Deltaville is also known as the boating capital of the Chesapeake Bay. It's got the largest concentration of boats between Annapolis and Fort Lauderdale. A key attraction is the Maritime Museum. They're just about to reopen after a major rebuilding and expansion project. The fire destroyed the original museum a couple years ago. And this is more than just a museum. The grounds are beautiful, ideal for events like weddings and other gatherings. They have boat building classes and plenty of activities for the adults and kids. Visiting the Maritime Museum is an ideal vacation destination. Plus, the community center in town offers cruisers plenty of activities also. Deltaville also hosts one of the region's largest regattas, the Leukemia Cup Regatta. They have a semi-pro baseball team and one of the last functioning wooden baseball stadiums. Barnstorming is still alive. My next destination was Urbana on the Rappahannock River. 
This is just up from Deltaville on the Rappahannock. And the town marina is clean and a modern facility. The town center is an easy walk or you can rent a golf cart from Unique Golf Carts. And that was really fun. There's a lot packed into a small space. Restaurants, unique shops, art gallery, specialty food, and much more. One of the big attractions, though, is the Urbana Oyster Festival. This has become one of the biggest festivals on the East Coast. This is much more than just a fun-filled two days. The festival sponsors several school scholarship programs and helps promote the entire region. Another key attraction is the Town Museum. This has one of the original Mitchell maps. This was used in the Treaty of Paris to determine the boundaries of the 13 original colonies. Hello! Welcome to Urbana. Hi, Dom. I met so many great people in Urbana that I was truly amazed and grateful. I hated to leave. This has got to be on your destination plan. Well, in the fall, I returned to Virginia. My first stop was Colonial Beach on the Potomac. The cruise up the Potomac was relaxing and scenic, and the entrance to Colonial Beach is well marked. I stayed at Colonial Beach Yacht Center. This is the first marina you come to. Colonial Beach is also affectionately known as the Town of Golf Carts. There are a couple of rental shops in town, Plus, there's a trolley that stops at various key locations throughout the town. The Colonial Beach Yacht Center has a restaurant on site, the Dockside Restaurant, and Blue Heron Pub. This is on the point, so the views are amazing. The beach also has several restaurants and shops on the boardwalk, a public fishing pier, and plenty of room for relaxing and fun in the sun. And on the bay side is the award-winning The Lighthouse Thai and French Restaurant at the Boathouse Marina. And there are several unique restaurants in town, such as Sherry's Snack Shop, featuring empanadas. It's the first time I ever had those, and they were really good. The Tides Inn, which is also a gourmet food shop. Denson's Grocery, specializing in oysters. And a deli deck the Tattletail Coffee and Wine Shop, and many more. There is plenty to keep you entertained in Colonial Beach, and the cruise on the Potomac is great fun. And my cruise up the Rappahannock River to Regent Point Marina was very pleasant and relaxing. As I mentioned earlier, although, it's not a town destination. It's just a great place to relax. There are a trawler and sailboat marina in a park-like setting. It was nice to just relax and take in the tranquility. My final destination was downtown Hampton and the public piers. This area is very busy shipping area plus a key naval base which provides for some interesting ship watching activities. When getting into downtown Hampton is well marked and the public pier is clean and a modern facility. The shopping and entertainment district is an easy walking distance. What I call Restaurant Row offers a wide variety of entertainment and dining choices. This is also a history rich destination with Fort Monroe plus the Air and Space Center history museum, and much more. It's also home to the Langley Speedway, the nation's oldest consecutively running NASCAR track, and the Hampton Roads Convention Center, and the Hampton Coliseum. There's a long sandy beach with public fishing pier, but you may need to take advantage of the tourism bus service that gets you there and back. The Downtown Hampton Partnership is diligently working to ensure that your expectations will always be exceeded. Well, as you can see, Virginia has a lot to offer cruising boaters. I'm looking forward to exploring more of Virginia by water and seeing some of my old friends that I met in Virginia. 
Well, until next time, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.